muster together, my seafaring friends, as we set sail with an Aussie and a Yank. Good morning, everybody. Hello, everybody in the afternoon, and welcome to the evening on Aussie and a Yank Walk Onto a Ship. Today, I'm very fortunate to have Nancy, my co-host. Hey, Nance, how you doing today, love? I'm doing well, thanks. How you all doing? Oh, yeah. You know, this is a bright, sunny day. It's a good day to be up and around during COVID. I love it. <laughs> and who's this beautiful woman that we have with us? Well, today, as you can see, I have a big ship, right? Okay, and she's one of my favorite ships, but we're not necessarily going to talk about her today. We're going to talk about all sorts of wonderful things. And we have Kathy from Royal Caribbean with us today. How fortunate are we to be able to sit down, have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine with this lovely lady. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm good, everybody. How are you? We're very it's well. So good to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for doing this with us. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. I know that uh, right now, people that are watching this are probably chomping at the bit uh, to get back to travel and tourism, and cruise is a huge part of that. So I thank you for the opportunity to let me come on on behalf of Royal Caribbean. Oh, anytime. We yeah. love, we love our, our partners in, um, you know, cruising world. We love you guys. You can't do, you do everything for us, so we love it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. See that beautiful picture behind you, Jen. Love that class of ship. Yes, I, I'm one of the, well, 2015, my um, heart was stolen away by this beautiful, beautiful ship behind me. Um, we had around about 25 family members and most of them all flew from Australia to be on the ship. So we were very fortunate to have like a family reunion, I think it was, more than anything. Yeah. It's probably the last time that um, all the kids, you know, could get together and yeah. us second generations could get together. So we chose Oasis of the Seas, the first ship that came out in the Oasis class ships. Um, yeah. well, it was Oasis, wasn't it, Kathy? Yes, well, the first, the first one in the Oasis class was the Oasis of the Seas, followed by the Allure of the Seas, followed by the Harmony of the Seas, followed by the Symphony of the Seas. So uh, we have four in it now, but we will have a fifth. As Nancy and I were just talking about earlier, we do have the brand new Wonder of the Seas coming out in 2022. So there's gonna be five babies, just like the, I mean, just like the Oasis, you got four other ones to choose from. The difference about the Wonder of the Seas, um, because right now all of our Oasis class ships uh, normally sail out of Florida. So seven night Eastern Caribbean, seven night Western Caribbean, Phenomenal popular itineraries. If people are looking to go to Europe, we usually have an Oasis class ship that leaves seven nights out of Barcelona. Um, fantastic Western Mediterranean, really like the hottest ports of calls out there. It's going to be the Western Mediterranean, right? Um, well, and that would be round out of Barcelona. Saying that, I actually did in 2008 one of the original Voyager ships, class ships. Oh, we were actually on Voyager of the Seas and we did the Mediterranean. You know, I fell in love with that ship um, back then and I was very fortunate enough to go on another. I, yeah, I love Royal Caribbean. Let's not talk about my love for Royal Caribbean because <laughs> we'll be here all day. But, you know, Oasis, these class ships are just absolutely beautiful. And, you know, I was lucky to be able to get onto Symphony of the Seas um, last year, and she was absolutely beautiful too. And you know what uh, I suppose attracted us to these ships was because of Starbucks. Can you believe it or not? That's It's where I met my husband, and it was one of the reasons why we sort of looked at coming on this ship was because there was a Starbucks on it at the time. Aww, that's wonderful. Yeah, you know, it's it, that's the one thing about the Oasis class I think that is so uniquely special. Uh, if you look at shipbuilding in general, you're looking at a, an industry that's 50 plus years of age. In those 50 plus years of shipbuilding, I don't think that there's been any other ship that has been introduced with more things to do that attracts people of more different backgrounds, ages, if they're active, inactive. Uh, to your point, Jen, when you went out with your family, 
multi-generational travel when it comes to grandma and grandpa going with the, the mom and dad and the grandkids and then friends and families. You have the same vacation area for everybody to get out of their vacation what they want, but but everybody just still comes together and they have meals together and they go to these shows together and they go ashore together, but they still get out of their vacation what they want, which when you think about vacation options, that is an incredibly hard feat to tackle. Yeah. And with this class of ships, you can do that because, you know, it was a game changer in the fact that the ship became the destination. Yeah. Just as much as the ports of calls themselves, you could spend seven nights on this ship and just be in awe over everything the ship has to offer. And that is very unique with this class of ships. So we're super excited about the Wonder uh, in 2022. Now, in 2022, when Wonder does come out, she's actually specifically going to be aimed at the Asian market. Is that correct, Kathy? Yes. Uh, the Wonder of the Seas, it will be the first time ever that we will have an Oasis-class ship uh, pull into Asia and actually home porting from Asia. So in years past, we've been in Asia. That's a growing market for us at Royal Caribbean Group, uh, as well as, of course, even my company, which is Royal Caribbean International. We already have had ships over in Asia doing all sorts of fantastic itineraries, but for the most part, they have not been sourced from North America. They have been sourced from the Asian market. So you really are looking at Mandarin is the number one spoken language on board. Uh, everything from dining to entertainment is really geared towards the Asian market. The Wonder of the Seas, which is going to be making her debut in 2022, is very unique because she will be globally sourced which means that there will be people from North America, you know, uh, especially I'm from Ohio. I have people that can't wait to get on the ship because they want to see Asia, but they want to feel like they have the comforts of home with English being spoken on board, the entertainment, the dining options. So it really is going to be another melting pot, so to speak, of a vacation product that people can see these fantastic places over in Asia, but still have the Royal Caribbean product that they've been used to here in North America, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. So, am I understanding, I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry. Am I understanding this correctly? It's being built for the North American market, but doing Asia. It's not right. being well, built for the Asian market per se. It's, a, it's being globally sourced, which means that it is being built for people of all backgrounds, Asia, North America, Europeans, that's why this is going to be a very unique ship because we will be able to handle as well as entertain and deliver that guest experience no matter where they're coming from, whether it's Asia, North America, Europe, or other. Um, it's going to Australia, be Australia, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Australia, exactly, Jen, right? So I think that it's going to be really incredible because for the longest time, uh, I know that there have been a lot of requests and a lot of demand to bring an Oasis class vessel to the Asia territory, and we have just not had the opportunity to do so yet. But it's coming, and, and when it does come, it's going to blow their socks off. Because <laughs> we've been very spoiled here in North America having all of our four Oasis class ships here out of North America, and even the Europeans. They've been spoiled as well, having an Oasis-class ship that left out of Barcelona for the last several summers doing that seven-night uh, heavy Western Mediterranean itinerary. So we both have had a chance to experience that, but the Asian market has not. Um, but again, I think that this is going to be very unique in the fact that if we have North American clients, which is what my travel partners such as Jen and you, Nancy, your clients would have a phenomenal time on this ship seeing Asian itineraries but still feeling like they're on a normal Royal Caribbean ship, which we've yeah. not done that before. So it's going to be really special. Yeah. And I can't wait if she goes down to Down Under, you know, like Down Under and Asia. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So stay tuned. But I know that right now, because we've not released, uh, right now Royal Caribbean has inventory loaded for sale on 26 ships through April 30th of 2022. The Wonder of the Seas is not coming out until after that. Uh, so stay tuned. That deployment should be coming out, uh, I would say, within the next six to nine months. You're going to start to see some more news on the Wonder of the Seas and what's the itineraries that she's going to do. There's going to be a lot of media hype over this ship. There's going to be a lot of uh, campaigns to promote her. 
because she is going to be very unique and special. And I, I am so excited about this ship uh, and the itineraries that she's going to have for our clients here uh, in North America. Yeah, she's going to be wonderful. Oh, I can't wait. Anyway, I know that there's some more exciting news with Odyssey of the Seas. So she's a quantum class ship. And yes. Nancy, I know you're not very well versed with uh, quantum class, but neither am I. I haven't been on a quantum class ship. So let's just roughly, you know, just a five minute sort of chat over what quantum class o offers over an oasis. Uh, get my teeth back in and my, my, my tongue back into my head here. <laughs> okay. So over an oasis versus a quantum class ship. Tell us some of the things that you love about quantum class ships and the, the new Odyssey. So she should be out sometime next year, correct? Yes. She's actually coming out in May of next year. She will be leaving out of Civita Vecchia is the port for Rome. So she's going to be doing six and eight night itineraries. Uh, doing the Holy Lands, the Greek Isles. She's going to have an overnight uh, stay in Athens. So some really cool itineraries on the newest ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet. Um, before she makes her way over to Fort Lauderdale, which is where she's then going to be doing some other very unique itineraries uh, between six and eight nights, going all the way down to Aruba. Uh, also stopping in uh, some other different places as well. But what's really cool about this ship is, um, you know, you have the Oasis class, which a lot of people are familiar with, that biggest class of ships out there. They're the biggest in the world. Well, I don't think that a lot of people realize that the Quantum class, which is going to be the Odyssey of the Seas, will be the newest in that class, um, which is coming out in the spring of 2021, um, has some, is like the next size down. I mean, you're looking at 225,000 tons for Oasis class and about a hundred and 67,000 tons for a quantum class. So it's a large ship. I mean, it's a very large ship. Uh, but what's really cool about this ship is that it is different than the Oasis in the fact that it's more of an all-weather vessel. Oasis class is meant to be, you know, they got a lot of outdoor space. They got the aqua theater, your central park where you can actually walk through the center of the ship and it's open air above you. And you got these balconies that are overlooking those neighborhoods. I know, right, Jen? Did you love those boardwalk and boardwalk balconies and Central Park balconies? I loved part, you know, Central Park. I was just saying to Nancy not long ago, you know, being able to go to the Central Cafe there and just be able to sit down and you feel like you're in France because, you know, you have that pop-up atrium down in one section there and you have those um, deck chairs, you know, the wooden deck chairs like you have in the parks in like, um, Nancy was saying in Central Park, it just is such a, a melding pot and you have, you know, the restaurants there, you have some shops there it, and you have the birds and, the, and some music piping through there with bird whistles. It's just amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. We're gonna, we have to probably spend like 10 minutes just talking about the Oasis class because it's such a phenomenal class of ships. But yeah. You know, with the Odyssey, though, I will say that when you have the Odyssey, you have, again, the second largest ship that's out there in the world. But she's got some very unique features to her because, number one, she has the largest indoor sport complex at sea. Yeah, she's and got so bumper talking, cars, right? Bumper cars, inline skating. Um, there is, uh, there's actually a mezzanine level right above where the, um, the bumper cars are at and the inline skating. And that's going to actually be Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade. So, again, because we are a family brand, we specialize in families, this is just another testament to our dedication to bringing families together. So, can you imagine mom and dad hanging up watching, like, a sporting event up on the mezzanine level? And then down below, you have these kids on bumper cars, and they're doing inline skating, and then there's all sorts of different indoor activities. But it's the biggest indoor sport complex at sea is going to be on this ship. That's one thing that the Oasis class does not have. Um, it also will have a trampoline park called uh, Sky Pad, so they can do virtual reality assisted if they want to. Um, oh, my goodness. That, that yeah, it's got a trampoline cool. park. <laughs> and you know what really attracts me to the quantum class, which is why next year when I do go to Australia, I really, really want to jump on one of the ships down there if I can. Yes. And that yes. is the skydiving sea, you know. Oh, you know. the ripcord by iFly. Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes. That I, is, I want that to is do that. Complimentary, is a complimentary experience. If you were to go to Las Vegas or Orlando, it's going to cost you at least 150 bucks a pop. On a Royal Caribbean ship with the Quantum class only, because remember, the Oasis class does not have the ripcord mm -hmm. by iFly. This is specific to the Quantum class. Um, they have that ripcord by iFly, which is that skydiving simulator, um, and it's complimentary. That's included as part of the cruise. There's another really cool thing that I love about the Quantum class, and that's this thing called the North Star. Right, Jen? It goes, yep. It looks like a crane, but it takes about 16 people up in this glass bulb. It takes you 300 feet above the water surface for a panoramic view. Yeah. And that is complimentary. And I will tell you, you know, here's another thing. Keep in mind about the quantum class. I know we're talking about the Odyssey, but we are super excited that the quantum is coming back from Asia in the Alaska season for 2021. So we will have two Oasis, I'm sorry, two quantum class vessels doing seven night round trip Seattle. Nice. Seven night Alaska glacier experience. Can you imagine doing skydiving in Alaska? You've got the bumper cars, the inline skating, um, that North Star. I will say though that because it was in such high demand in Alaska, if you will pull into a glacier and you want to do that North Star, they are making it a VIP experience. So there's drinks that are served. You spend more time up in the air looking at these glaciers. That's going to be something that people would have to purchase. Other than that, it's complimentary. Oh, um, my goodness. Can you imagine that ship in Alaska? I know. That's just one of my, my husband's favorite. Okay, Nancy, that is the ship that we are going on, okay, to do Alaska. All right? There, you there are. Is, there is no no one else that we're going to choose. We're going to do it with because I want you to hop up on the North Star and enjoy the view of the glacier. That just sounds fantastic. You've sold me on that. Oh, my gosh. And keep in mind, too, this is one thing that I think a lot of people also forget about the quantum class is that every interior cabin that is on the quantum class, including the new Odyssey coming out to uh, Rome next spring when we introduce our newest vessel, on any of the quantum class ships, when you get an interior cabin, they have what's called a virtual balcony so you are looking at a real live footage of what is going on outside in real time so if you have an interior cabin you're never going to miss a beat of the scenery think about that for alaska jen if you're doing the ovation of the seas or the quantum of the seas out of seattle for alaska in the summer of 2021 well actually i don't want to say summer because alaska season goes from may through september so anybody that's looking for a really phenomenal Alaska vacation experience, they need to get on the Quantum out of Seattle or the Ovation out of Seattle because that ship, Quantum Class, there is nothing else in Alaska that's like it. Nothing. Hands down, the best for families. Um, Ovation just had its first season in Alaska last year in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, and it was incredibly successful. That's the reason why we're bringing a second ship in this class to seattle for 2021 so you'll have two to choose from out of seattle it's phenomenal but anyway i got off to off subject because you guys want to talk about odyssey <laughs> oh you know like come on this is just so exciting come on bring it oh on oh my gosh i am so excited about odyssey because you know we've you know for one you're going to have a quantum class vessel doing this fantastic itinerary in the mediterranean so out of rome holy lands greek isles i mean you're going to be on the best ship in the Mediterranean. That ship is already available for sale. So if people are looking at Mediterranean for next year on the newest ship, they're going to want to ask you and Nancy about the Odyssey. But after her Europe season, which will be her inaugural season, in November of 2021, she's coming stateside. So out of Florida, she'll be out of Fort Lauderdale doing six and eight night itineraries going all the way down to Aruba. Can you, imagine, Aruba. you don't even need a flight. You don't need a flight to get to the Southern Caribbean. Just get on the Odyssey of the Seas, and you'll be on the newest ship out there. Um, but super excited about the ship, that Quantum Class, coming to Florida, because we've never had a Quantum Class ship. That is correct. In Florida, for our people down the Southeast, you guys have been incredibly spoiled having the Oasis Class. Now it's going to be your first time on a Quantum Class ship coming because to Florida. The Quantum Class ships have always left from New York. Is it New Jersey? It's Bayonne, New Jersey, or what they like to call Cape Liberty. Uh, the anthem of the seas has been uh, year-round out of Bayonne, New Jersey. 
As a matter of fact, Cape Liberty, as you leave the port, you're gonna see the Statue of Liberty right off to your left-hand side. Oh. Um, there's, even, there's a beautiful statue right there at Cape Liberty or Bayonne, New Jersey, which is where it's home ported. Um, that's the name of the pier. But there's a beautiful statue of a teardrop that the Russian government actually donated to us shortly after 9-11. It has the, um, it's a memorial towards 9-11. It's beautiful, Jen and Nancy. If, you've ever, if you ever get a chance to see it, it's right next to where the terminal is at. It's a brand new terminal that Royal Caribbean actually uh, built to support the size of a quantum class co a vessel coming to New York area. Uh, it's just odd. Again, I, I want to jump on the ship. Book Royal. Hashtag Cruise Travel Guru. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. It was such a pleasure meeting Kathy from Royal Caribbean, and I am saying Au bye -bye. goodbye. Farewell. Farewell. Bye, honey. I want to say thank you to Kathy today for joining us here from Royal Caribbean. Thank you so much, Kathy. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. And I know there's so much more that we can talk about. We've kind of just chipped away at a little bit of a, an ice sculpture here. And, you know, I really would love to have you back again so we can talk about other facets of other ships and we can concentrate on a particular ship maybe or a particular itinerary. Thank you so much for joining us today on Aussie and Yang. Absolutely, and thank you so much for having me, and we're looking forward to having everybody on a Royal Caribbean ship at some time soon, so look forward to welcoming them on board. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank Thanks for listening. Thanks to Kathy from Royal Caribbean for joining the show. Watch out for part two of Fall for Adventure coming soon. Travel advisor for this episode, hashtag cruise travel guru. Executive producer and editing of this audio and video, CTG Media. Co-producer, The Yank. All opinions expressed in this audio are of Aussie and a Yank and remain their opinions. Don't forget to support hashtag Aussie and a Yank at anchor.fm slash dashboard slash money. This video post may contain references or advertising to products from one or more of our travel partners. We may receive compensation when you click on links to those products. Please note that terms and conditions may apply to the offers listed in this video and audio. Thanks for listening.